Lobotomy Corporation is an indie horror strategy management simulation game produced and published by South Korean studio Project Moon in 2018. The game has a sequel called Library of Ruina. The player who is referred as X is the manager of an underground power company called Lobotomy Corporation that harvests energy from strange beings known as abnormalities. They are tasked with overseeing the process and must command their employees to work on these abnormalities in order to fill the daily quota of energy but must also suppress them in order to place them back in their containment if they happen to breach. The meat of the game is divided between two different phases, preparation and management the latter of which is the meat of the game. The preparation determines the management phase, in it the player can hire new employees, boost existing employees, stats fortitude, prudence, temperance, and justice, assign them to different departments, and equip them with EGO weapons and suits. The management phase consists of sending these employees to extract energy from abnormalities. The success of this process can vary wildly depending on the circumstances of the work, as each abnormality has its unique set of traits that determine how it will behave and what dangers it poses. What makes things challenging is that information about these traits isn't available from the get-go, and the player must discover them through trial and error by earning information points which are gained through the aforementioned work process and can be used to learn specific traits of the abnormality, such as work preferences, breach behavior and only if the player has collected enough information, weapons and armor. Once enough energy is collected, the player can end the day and have their performance rated from the best to F the worst. This rating is influenced by how many employees survive the day, and is directly proportional to the reward the player will receive, which are log points, which the player can use to promote existing employees or hire new ones. A penalty is applied to the amount of log points received at the end of the day based on the danger levels of the abnormalities that breach during the day. Should the player decide to continue, they will usually be forced to choose new abnormalities out of a selection of three. The only information given about the selectable abnormalities is their classification numbers and a small text meant to describe them in an intriguing yet mystifying way. Once an abnormality is chosen, it is added with the rest and the preparation phase begins again. The player of the game is first guided through the game by their assistant, Angela, who is an advanced type. The player is eventually also guided by characters called Sephirot, who led various departments of the facility. The facility is based on an upside-down Kabbalah, with each Sephirot's names corresponding to where their department is located. There are several different abnormalities ranging in danger levels. The danger levels are based on letters of the Hebrew alphabet, Zayin. The least dangerous abnormalities are categorized here. These abnormalities can produce positive effects for the player and will not breach death. The second least dangerous abnormalities and the first danger level that can breach containment. These are usually not dangerous but may catch players off guard. He here, abnormalities may become difficult for players to overcome if unprepared. They are of average danger. Walk. At this level, abnormalities are more gimmick-based, which must be followed to keep them contained. These are capable of wiping out employees fairly easily. Aleph. The highest danger level, but also the most rewarding to work on. Abnormalities featured here in this category are capable of single-handedly destroying facilities. The player will always start out with a Saiyan class abnormality named once in and hundreds, 